Aloha, it's Robert. Hi, how are you doing? This is Sam Pai with Blue Planet Surf. Okay, welcome to number two of our stand-up foiling tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to catch the wave, which can be one of the hardest parts in the beginning. We're going to do a quick summary and then we're going to go more into depth. So the quick summary is, first of all, find a good wave that's good for foiling. It should be uncrowded and be like a nice rolling gentle wave. Then get out there and wait for the good wave to come to you, wait for a good set wave that, that you can catch. Then what I like to do is quickly glance down at my feet where they are in, in relation to where I want them to be. And then I jump into this um, surf stance or into the stance where I want my feet to be. I paddle on my front side to catch the wave. As soon as I feel the board accelerating and lifting a little bit, then I unweigh the, the foil, kind of lift it up up and try to engage the foil so my whole board takes off and, and lifts off and I'm riding on the foil. Yes. So um, one of the key things too is before you guys go out into the surf or before you plan on going out, uh, take a lesson behind of a boat. Yeah. Um, learn how to feel the foil, um, controlling the foil once the foil comes up and try to keep it down or bring it down so you'll be able to understand what the foil is doing. Then once you start to go out into the surf, you know, then you start looking um, for those real small, soft waves, the waves I like to call the bunny hills, which is the best part of the wave to catch. Yeah, yeah so I ideally you want to take that lesson first behind the boat, and then also just, um, you know, put everything together, make sure um, everything's safe and your equipment's properly installed, and then just paddle it in flat water a little bit, make sure you, you're comfortable on it, you have good directional control, you know, watch, watch the part one on how to paddle your board straight or um, control the direction of the board, that's really important. And then you're ready to, to go out and catch some waves. Yeah, make sure you get in an area that's, um, there's nobody around or don't go in any crowded areas um, because you're still learning and try to figure everything out. So best is, if you can be in a place where there's nobody's at, that's the best thing, that's right. the best place. Okay, so let's break it down step by step. And, and by the way, we're um, actually not on the beach right now. We're here in the new Blue Planet studio that we put together. And uh, behind, behind us here is just a green screen. But the cool thing with the green screen is that we can pretend to be anywhere, like f flying in a drone or, you know, surfing or, you know, we, we can be all over the place. So that's kind of fun. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. nice. <laughs> all yeah. right. So, um, so let's go. Let's go into a little bit more detail. You want to maybe talk about the ideal spot where um, to foil, <coughs> the ideal um, kind of waves. Yeah, look for areas where the the waves are really nice and soft and slopey waves. Those are the best ones to go to go and get um, to go foiling. Um, uncrowded areas, um, areas where um, you're familiar with. A lot of depth. Make sure there's the water's deep enough. Yeah, because you have a two, that's important. Yeah, yeah. You, you have a two foot foil. Um, the mass is two feet long. Uh, some of them are, are a little longer, but the key thing is um, knowing exactly where you're at, how the how deep the water is, and uh, real nice sl slopey type of waves. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're gonna play some videos uh, and then kind of um, comment on what we're doing while we're taking off on the waves. Okay, so on this wave. You know, I'm turning around, I'm front side, so I'm, I'm on the paddling on the side I want to paddle on. And then as the wave um, pushes me a little bit, I'm, I unweigh the foil and I get up on the foil and glide. Uh, so let's watch this again in slow motion. So um, my buddy is uh, on the prone board didn't catch the wave, so I take a quick glance down at my feet. I switch my feet into the um, takeoff position where I want the feet to be when I'm foiling. Turn around control the direction of the board so my board's pointing straight in and then lean forward on my front foot to, to get on the wave and as soon as it starts moving I kind of hop my feet up yeah and here's Sam okay so on in this one as you can see my front feet's already set in the wave is coming and then I set my back feet I'm moving with momentum on this wave and once this thing once the board starts to move I'm positioning my body weight either forward or back as you can see again watch my back feet it's getting close to the back strap. My front feet is already just about set. So my body's already s literally almost squared off and just trying to, you know, uh, move with momentum on, on this wave.
Okay, now if you notice, my paddle is always on my open side, which is my left side of the board. I'm left, I'm goofy footed. So when I'm taking off on a wave, I'm always gonna be on my toe side or my open side. Yeah, so I'm looking nice. down the line here. Yeah, here, let's look at it again. Okay, so watch my feet. Here I'm unweighting the board. Yeah, lifting up on a foil. My back feet is already set. I'm squared off. Now I'm crouching down a little bit more. It's only because the wave is a little bit more fast. So let's, let's check it out again. So this one yeah. looks like you put your foot in the strap after you catch it kind of because yes. I guess helps you keep your weight more mm -hmm. forward, right? But the key thing too is always make sure that when you're paddling, you're paddling on your open side or your toe side of the board. Yeah. While I'm moving, I'm feeling that I'm, I'm looking for my back strap and feeling it basically. Now I'm going down the wave and I need to at least get my, um, put a lot of weight on the front front end of the board or front front end of the foil all right so here's uh, me like looking down at my feet I got the front foot in the strap I just have a foot hook on the back and then uh, you know as, as soon as the wave pushes me I'm, I'm already in position so here I'm turning I see the wave coming got my foot in the strap already in the front or just in the correct place and then just a couple of hard strokes and the, the board's already lifting up so um, you know, so if you get on the wave at the right moment, the takeoff can be super easy. Here's uh, what not to do, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, so if, if the you know if you're kind of late, then yeah. late takeoff, you just I just bail bail quickly. So here we go. With my feet's already set in the strap. Yeah, the board's already gliding. Yeah, waiting down on the front end uh, no, on the front of the board. Yeah, slow motion. Slow motion again. Okay. I'm moving my board. I'm rolling. Basically, I'm moving everything with momentum of the of the ocean. Yeah, wave is coming in. My front feet's there. I'm unweighting the board, and then from there, my back feet is already being set. Yeah, and I'm leaning forward. See, as my, as, my, as my body's leaning forward, it's keeping the foil down or try to keep this thing low and in control. Okay, here's another um, prone takeoff. This is Daniel. He's catching the white water ball, and then, uh, like, we'll watch it again in slow motion. But he's, he gets a little bit um, up, a little bit uh, high or, or fast. Uh, there's Jeff and myself taking off in the background. Yeah. But um, and here it is again. So he's catching the ball really nice, keeping his weight forward with his hand, you know, pushing down with his ha hands while he's standing up. But then, uh, like, right here. He maybe um, kind of lifts the foil up a little bit quickly, and he really has to lean forward to keep it in the water. You see it almost breached, you know. Um, but, you know, Daniel's really good, so yeah, he's, he, he's really good. Yeah, he's, he's really, really good. smooth. So but here's me. Up. As you can see, in that position, I pushed forward, which tried to basically putting my, my weight forward. Yeah, and then I have position, I have um, tactile blocks on my board. So from here, I know exactly where, my, where to put my feet. Let's look at it again. Yeah, paddling for the wave, lean forward, weights already weighted up, up in the front of the board. Yeah, standing up, my feet's in position, body's already, yeah, squared off. Now watch my shoulder, my shoulder's going to open up and I'm going to end up turning right. There it is. Okay, um, so I think here we have a couple more. Oh, here I'm paddling on my backside, so. What I do is I kind of turn a little bit further and then just switch to my front side, so that way I can I can have the paddle on the right side when I take off, uh, and so here it is again. I think yeah. So I just kind of turn from back side to front side. So during the takeoff, I got the paddle on my front side. It makes it a lot easier um, to have the paddle on on your front side. Definitely don't want it on your back side. I think that was it for the okay. videos. Okay, so one of the hardest parts when you're taking off in the beginning is just placing your feet in the right place. You know, it's a little bit different from regular um, stand-up surfing where you can sometimes catch the wave in a parallel stance and then kind of shuffle into a surf stance. Uh, really, ideally, you want to be as close as you can already to, to your um, center line of your board. And it's really important to be centered over the middle of the board because if you're slightly off to the left or right, as soon as the foil comes up, you'll lose your balance, and that's where you can have those falls where you fall on top of the foil, right? So um, the foot placement is really, really critical. And uh, I don't really recommend using foot straps right away in the beginning. Mm -hmm. it's, it's safer not to have foot straps, I think.
but you need to have a clear indicator of where you want your feet to to go basically right yeah so what i usually do is um on my prone board i have um <clears throat> a piece of deck pad a, a, a tactile area where i can basically feel where um, my feet needs to go yeah <clears throat> my um, foot span is usually about 26 26 and a half 27 inches so my um <clears throat> my front of my deck pad to the back of my foot spacing that area is right around 27 inches 26 and a half so mm -hmm. um, that way when I get up I can basically still feel where my feet needs to go and once I feel that and from there from that point I square my body off and um, I know exactly where my foot placement needs to be. Yeah, so the back foot, it kind of goes right on top of the back screw of the, the foil usually. Um, but, um, you know, on our, on our Blue Planet boards, we have a little um, arch bar underneath your back foot so you can feel with your back foot where it's located on top of the mast. And then also if you're centered um, on the center line of the board. So that really helps to have a place where you can put your foot and you, you know uh, just from feeling that you're in the right place. Uh, on the front foot, you can either use visual or it's always better to have something tactile that you feel when you when your foot's on it. You know you're in the right spot, and you can confidently uh, lift off with the foil. I also really like the foot hooks. I I was using those for many months, like at least half a year um, before I uh, tried foot straps again. In the beginning, I, I always got frustrated with the foot straps because I kept missing waves because I couldn't get my feet in the straps on time and took them off. And I like uh, using the board with the foot hooks better than with foot straps. It's also safer. But now I feel like, you know, just the foot straps really uh, give you a lot of control of the board and the foil. So, you know, especially I'm using a longer mass now and then just having the, the straps really gives you a lot of extra control. Yeah, um, I use foot straps. Um, I'm used to, to using them now. When I first started, uh, that's all I went with, with foot straps. But from that point, once you understand where your feet is and uh, what part of the wave it, you're going to be at, if you, you feel uncomfortable with it, you know, you should learn how to get your feet out of it. Um, now I'm real comfortable where, you know, in area where if I know something's going to happen, then I'll take my, start positioning and start shuffling my feet about, start shuffling my feet out. So it takes some time to um, use the foot straps. But um, you can, it feel, I feel a little bit more control when my board is really, my feet is really tacked down to the board and I can feel control and I'll control the foil once we start flying. Okay, so the next one we want, we want to, um, we're going to go and co covering is taking off on a wave. When the wave, um, if the wave gets really steep, we really, really don't want to be in that position. Um, uh, another thing too that when surfers, when we're surfers, yeah, what we do is, um, when we start taking off a wave, it's only natural for us guys to lean back just to get the nose out of the water so we don't, you know, pearl dive in a sense. However, in foiling, that's, that's not what you want to do. You need to get onto your foil. You need to lean into it, get, be heavy on your front feet so you can keep the foil down, and, uh, keep the foil and in, in control. So, um, Try to avoid steep waves, yeah. And yeah. if it seems a little bit steepy, and if you're not too sure, I say don't even bother with it. But if you do come up to one point, you need to lean into your foot, you need to get heavy on your front feet, and you need to lean into your, uh, lean into your board. Yeah, so really lean forward and try to keep the foot from coming up too quick. But um, I, I, if, it, if you start going too fast, it's better to bail out before you, like, you know, shoot up in the air or whatever. Yeah. So uh, if, you, if you realize you just, you can't, you can't manage the drop, then just bail out quickly. And definitely that instinct to lean back when you take a steep drop is wrong. So you got to kind of relearn that one for sure. Keep this in mind. If something don't feel right, something don't sound right, something don't look right, it probably ain't right. Yeah bail away from the board, kick the board away, and come back again and reset yourself. Okay, so um, that's how you take off on the wave. So then once you're, you know, foiling, the next part is to make sure you um, find a nice line on the wave where you stay kind of high on the wave. You don't want to drop all the way down into the flats where you lose all your speed and drop off the foil. So kind of staying up, up higher on the wave and then if you slow down how to pump it and so on. So those are going to be our next, uh, next parts of our lesson. So stay tuned and uh, come back next time for our lesson number three, four, and five, right? Yeah. One more thing uh, about downwind technique. Like when I started 
uh, foiling uh, in downwinders, you know, people sometimes think it's, it's easy to learn how to foil on, on a downwinder, but it's not. It's really hard to catch the bump, and you have to have a bigger foil. The foil has more drag, so you really have to work hard to get the, the foil to lift up um, from just get, catching bumps. It's, uh, it's really different from the way you do it when you're, when you're uh, regular downwind, downwind paddling. You're using a shorter board, so you're really relying more on the, the lift of the foil to c c catch the speed to be able to foil. So a lot of it is just paddling at the right time. You definitely want to be front side. You want to have your feet in the right place. And you just got to unweigh the foil and kind of really engage the foil to, to create lift. And then as soon as you kind of the board just leaves the water a little bit, then you reduce the drag, and that's how you um, can get on the foil and, and then start to fly. Yeah, I, I so. tried downwinding foiling in, um, in Maui, um, and it was really hard to do. I was able to get up, however, you know, your feet got to be into position, and you got to be squared off, and you got to make sure that you're paddling on your toe side or your open side of your board, and you really got to get the momentum going and, you know, unweighting your, uh, unweighting your board and so you can activate the foil. So um, downwind foiling, it's fun, but it's not as easy. So right. learning how to control the foil, lifting it up, unweighting your board, open side paddle, toe toe side paddling all comes into play when it comes down to wanting to do downwind foiling. Yeah, so the good news uh, is though then once you get good at foiling in a downwinder, uh, it makes the takeoff super easy in, in waves because it's, uh, yeah, you just got that push and you already, you know, you pretty much learn how to catch a wave, uh, almost non-existent waves when you do downwinder. So when you go in a real wave, it's real easy to, to make the takeoff. Okay, so um, thanks for watching this, this one on takeoff and uh, the next part is on controlling the height of, on the wave and pumping and then turning. So stay tuned for our next episodes of our stand-up foiling series. And down below there's a subscribe button, so click that if you want to get notified of our videos. There's also a notification button next to it, the little bell. So click that as well. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks yeah. for watching. Gives us a thumbs up. Yeah. 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 And press the like button. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Aloha. Aloha. Thanks for watching our video. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, press the like button. Subscribe to us. And thank you very much. Take care. Aloha. Yeah.